were one of the thousands of people stuck this morning at the downtown tunnel and asking why, we have answers for you. Yeah, well, at about 8.27 this morning, traffic came to a screeching halt after the tunnel roadway became covered in glass. Ten on your side, Andy Fox is at the tunnel right now. He has some answers on what may have gone wrong. Yeah, it was a terrible mess down here affecting thousands and thousands of drivers. We spent the day trying to figure out exactly what went wrong. You can only call it an exercise in frustration. Traffic from Norfolk to Portsmouth through the downtown tunnel rerouted during morning rush hour. A truck clipped the tunnel lights one after another until 35 lights were gone. Layla Rice is with tunnel operator Elizabeth River Crossings. Naturally, there was a lot of debris in the tunnel and a loose lighting hanging down, so we had to send crews in to clear up the debris, electricians in to assess damage, and to remove any unsafe lighting so that it would be safe for motorists again. The truck belongs to your equipment rentals and the truck was described as a container truck that had a tarp system like this one and the pole that holds the tarp jutted out too far to the right and the metal hit the lights. Tony Schaller is with your and supervises the truck driver he would not name. And I just want to know what his preliminary report was to you. What did he say from his mouth to your ear? No, I can't go through that right now. I don't have any comment on that. Did he say it was an accident? Well, you're sure. You're, I'm sure it was. Then nobody hit 38 light bulbs on purpose. State police did not charge the driver and report the driver says he hit a hole in the tunnel that caused the tarp system to move to the right to hit the lights. But we went through the tunnel and did not find any holes the driver could have hit. What we did find was this, a covered drain way to the right near the wall that is at the point the lights got hit. The truck driver was apparently not aware of it. There were several citizens that flagged him down to let him know that this had occurred. Do taxpayers pay for this, or does your pay for this? The we carry again. insurance for that reason. You know, it's like any in company or individual, I'm sure, you know, our insurance company will have to pay for it. Is the driver, it going, to be, is the driver going to be disciplined at all? I, I have no comment on any of that right now. Who pays? Undetermined now. What is not undetermined, on a day like this, it sure would have been nice to have the new Jordan Bridge now under construction as an alternate route to get to Portsmouth. Okay, we're now back out here live, and this is the drain that is the hole that the driver was talking about. And we've been out there, and as you look, not one tire has been hitting. None of the tires hit that. It is really far over to the right, so he really had to come over to the right in order to hit it. But we are not determined, we do not know right now exactly who will pay for this. No one got hurt, and there really hasn't been anything more released on it because of the investigation and potential insurance claims in this case. But if you got stuck at the downtown tunnel, that's why you got stuck at the downtown tunnel. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.